GPU and CPU pool mining Zcash on Supernova with NHEQ Miner in Windows. Supernova released a new version of NHEQ Miner, version 0.2a. So you can go to the GitHub page and download that, save the file. I've already downloaded mine, so I'm going to cancel the download. Now we need to make the command to run the program. So you're going to want to go to your worker page and, and copy in your worker login. Mine's CryptoMind. Copy in your worker name. Mine's 4930MX. And copy in your worker password. Then you're going to want to set how many GPUs you're using. That's the CD command. 012 means I'm using three GPUs. Dash T.1 means I'm using one of my CPU cores. You can put as many cores there as you want to use. Six or seven, eleven, whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use one. So I'll go back into the mining folder here and you can see I've created a batch file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate that. I'm going to copy my command into an empty text document. And then I'm going to save as and add a .bat to the end of the command. Click all files and then save that. I'll replace my command. You can minimize or close that. Now I'll double click on my command and start the miner. Now another thing you're going to want to do is to put your address, your payment address, into your information. So you have to go to My Account, Edit Account, and then copy in your Zcash address into the payment address. Edit your automatic payment threshold to whatever you want from 0.1 to 8,000. Type in your four digit PIN number and then update the account by clicking Update Account. That will save your information. So if we go back to the dashboard, we can see that our miner is mining. We can see a hash right there and the worker name. And we're hashing away at about 68, 69 solutions per second already. You can see here I'm using three graphics cards, three 980 Ti's plus one core, one CPU core. So that's about it. That's how you can mine on Supernova with your CPU and GPU. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.